everybody. We are still working on the language workbook, packet number one, and today we are on lesson four. Lesson four is all about nouns. Now you know that a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. We've been talking about that for a long time since you were in kindergarten. Well, what I'd like you to do is look at all these words, all these words that are in this big box, and I would like you to put the people words under person, the place words under place, the thing, which means it's not a person, it's not alive, it's a thing, under here, an idea. An idea is something you can't see, it's something in your head. So any of these words that are an idea, you're going to put in that last column. Go ahead and do it. I'll give you a few minutes. You can stop the tape and then come back and we'll check them. Okay, I'm thinking that everyone is finished. So what we're going to do is list the person, the place, the thing, and the idea. Now, let me give you a hint, first of all. In the person column, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. Do you have nine words in the person? In the place, one, two, three, four, five, six, six in the place. Thing, four. Idea, six. All right, hopefully those are your numbers. So in the person, let me list my answers and see if you have the same. Teacher, grandpa, sister, doctor, mother, uncle, nephew, officer, and coach. Um, your nephew is, if you had a brother or sister, their child is your nephew. If it's a boy, if it were a girl, it would be niece. Okay, the place. The names of the places are store, mall, Mars, which is a planet, bedroom, lake, and theater. A theater is like where there's a play on a stage. All right, thing. Now these are things, they are not real objects. Story is a thing. I can tell you a story. Phone is a thing. Purse and truck, those are all things. Now the ideas, an idea is courage when you're very brave. Patience when you don't get mad easily. Freedom when you're not locked up. Kindness, when you show someone how kind you are. Peace, when there is not war or fighting, there is peace. And love, we all know what love is. So those are your answers on the list. Okay, turn your paper to the back and we're going to look at one of our academic vocabulary words. This word is project. I can assign you a project. That means you have to do a paper, uh, make a poster, do um, a model, do a drawing. Those are all projects. A project, it says here, is an organized plan or activity with a purpose. You can write up a sentence of your own with project. My project is on the Eiffel Tower. I am researching it. That's what I can say. Now, go to the next section for mechanics and grammar, and I'm going to grab a marker. Okay, so mechanics and grammar. I want you to look through each one of those sentences, A, B, C, and D. One of them has no mistakes. The other ones, the mistakes are all homonyms. That means they used the wrong word, the wrong spelling of a word. So, for example, the child likes to write, the plane flew high in the sky, I know my math facts, I saw a deer in the woods. And then, what I'd like you to do is see if all the words are spelled correctly, because it's the spelling that's going to matter. In A, it says write but that is not the correct right. That one means your right hand or your right, you're correct. The correct wording or spelling is 
that one. B, the plane flew high in the sky. Is there a mistake in that one? That one's a little trickier. Plane is not correct. This plane means it's not fancy, it's very plain. That should be spelled this way. That is the plane that flies in the sky. Next, I know my math facts. That means no, the opposite of yes. It should be this one. I know it in my head. And then the last one, guess what? Has no mistakes. That is the answer. I saw a deer in the woods. That's correct. Okay, last one. Which is not a correct way to combine these sentences? Read all four. Pick the one that doesn't sound right. It just doesn't seem like it's correct the way it's written. I'll give you a minute. You can turn off the tape. Come back and tell me what you think. Okay, the correct answer is it. I should do my homework, but I'm too tired. She went to the park, but forgot her skateboard. We went to the play. We went out to eat. I need to go back home because I forgot my homework. There's only one that doesn't quite sound right, and it is letter C. We went to the play. We went out to eat. That's definitely two separate sentences, so they should not be combined that way. All right, boys and girls, we just finished lesson number four. So next time I see you, we are going to do capitalizing first words. All right, I will see you next time.